Welcome back, everybody. This is Glockman4519. I am back with another ROM overview. Uh, as you can see by the screensaver or the wallpaper, this is screwed again. Uh, this is the latest update. This is April 9th. Um, I realize that uh, the date today is much later than April 9th, um, but for some reason, I just now uh, found out that this ROM is on XDA's website uh, officially. Um, and they also have experimental builds. So um, the build I'm running uh, is actually a, well, I want to make sure I get it right. Um, let's see here. Uh, they call it a milestone, uh, just like uh, Cyanogen Mod has, uh, or Cyanogen Mod has. Um, so it's, this is a milestone build. Uh, they... Uh, they tout it as being very, very uh, reliable uh, with very few, if any, bugs at all. And I can vouch for that. Uh, the ROM is very, very fluid, uh, super smooth. Um, I'm having no issues at all with it. But the only issue I found, um, and it's not even a big deal, is uh, that on the uh, ROM's uh, uh, XDA thread, uh, we'll go to it real quick, um, that they, they say that it's uh, multi-ROM supported, and it or not multi-ROM, um, which it is multi-ROM supported, but um, they say that it uh, is three-minute battery mod um, supportive, uh, and it does work with a three-minute battery mod, but <laughs> with a with a slight caveat, um, I'm only able to get it to work with um, with the free version. I can't get it to work with any of my, um, with the paid version. So, I'm limited to how many, you know, the batteries that you can use with this. I'm trying to find it here. It should be right up front. Because uh, I do want to show you it. I want you guys to see the, uh, the OP uh, and what all is um, included in it. There it is. Go to the beginning, um, let you guys look at this real quick. This is the OP. This is what all is included in the ROM. You could probably pause the video uh, and take a gander down through here and see what is all in this. Um, it does support the uh, multi-ROM, uh, which I am running it in my primary spot. Um, now it does say layers or RRO compatible. Uh, it is not. This is actually built around um, the CM uh, theme engine. Um, I think this OP was actually lifted from one of his other uh, devices uh, that they built for and probably a little older because I do know that the builds that they're building now are all CM. Uh, but there you have it. Uh, it, it does come with Hell's Core kernel, although um, if we look at the kernel, uh, I don't think it says Hell's Core kernel. Yeah, it says kernel version, um, you know, right there, uh, Big Boss, Ubuntu. Uh, but when you look at the kernel, um, it is very, very reminiscent of Hell's Core. Uh, so they probably borrowed uh, quite heavily from it. Uh, let's go ahead and go into the uh, developer options. Um, there's not a lot here uh, as far as customizations go. Um, not even your advanced reboot is in here. It's all under the custom settings. Uh, of course, you have your OEM unlock, um, your uh, USB debugging. You want to make sure you have that on. Um, these are all of your uh, other settings, input, drawing. Uh, underneath your drawing, of course, are your animation settings. Uh, the uh, uh, Multi-window feature is not here. It is also in the advanced settings, which we will get to uh, here very quickly. Uh, that is about it for developer options. Um, we will go now into security. Uh, for those of you that like to see what is in the security settings, uh, this is it. Uh, it is pretty standard AOSP security settings. Um, I'm almost positive this has privacy settings in it. Um, sound and notifications. 
uh, very standard. Your display settings. Again, pretty standard. Uh, yes, I, I thought it had privacy settings. So here uh, you have privacy settings um, like Dirty Unicorn has um, and a couple other AOSP ROMs. Most AOSP ROMs do not have this in it. Uh, this is more of a uh, cyanogen mod uh, feature um, and it is included. I really love it that they include this in here. This is one of the things I look for. Uh, again, guys, you know my favorite ROM type is uh, an AOSP ROM based uh, with uh, uh, the Cyanogen Mod theme engine. Uh, that's my favorite. Um, again, it's just a personal preference of mine. Uh, it's just something I like. Uh, let's go into the screwed settings. Um, user interface. Uh, there are a lot of settings under this. Uh, this ROM is packed full of settings. Uh, status bar settings. Uh, you're going to have your uh, your general under general options. You're going to have your status bar icons. Uh, of course, your icons are going to be uh, what you want to show and not show in the icon whenever it comes on. Uh, carrier label, carrier label, double tap to sleep, network traffic, uh, screwed logo, which is really cool. Right now, I have the animated logo. I didn't notice. Oh, I guess it does animate. It looks like it blinks. Uh, but they, they have an, a no animated logo, um, which is basically the same one. It just doesn't blink. I'm going to go back with the animated one. Uh, and, of course, you can change the colors on it. Uh, you do have brightness control. Uh, now we're going to get into the clock options, your clock and date. Uh, there are your options for that, and you can color. Thank you very much, D, for that. Uh, then you have your notification options, you know, with your task manager, breathing notifications, show notification count, all that is there. Uh, battery options, I do have mine hidden right now because I'm running the three-minute battery mod. Um, again, um, the three-minute battery mod uh, only shows, um, it only shows the offline batteries. Uh, that's the only ones I can get to function. Uh, I can't get any of the other ones to function on it. Uh, this would be the only thing I, I would love to see fixed on this. Other than that, this ROM is perfect. Uh, then you have your header options. Uh, you can have a custom header image, which I have right now. Uh, here's where you can pick from it. Your default, uh, modern, your poly HD. Uh, I actually have the screwed HD. Um, and this is what the screwed HD looks like. I think it's pretty cool. And then under that's going to be your weather options. Uh, and then here is your temperature. Uh, I'd like to see that where I could color that. Um, I'd also like to see uh, you know us to be able to color the Wi-Fi and data um, uh, icons. That would be cool. Uh, here's your quick your quick tile settings. Uh, this is where you configure your tiles. Uh, whoops. And this is what I have on right now. And this is what I didn't add to my list. Then uh, you have all of your configurations for that, advanced setting, you know, large first row, number of tiles on your first row, you know, the list goes on, uh, vibrate on touch if you want, uh, and then of course your quick shading at the bottom where you can actually add transparency to that, uh, that feature is there uh, if you want it. Under nav bar, uh, these are your nav bar settings, um, it does have the DU fling settings in it, which is really cool if you use that. Uh, I don't use that, but it is there. Um, you would go under navigation mode, uh, either navigation bar or your fling gesture interface. Uh, your bar size, uh, I have mine at, um, all the way up. It's at 128%, which that is the default setting. And then, of course, you have your left-handed mode underneath that. Under animations, these are your animations. I'd love to see, again, scrolling mod added to this. Uh, that is the only animation that I would use. 
uh, but I am not about to install Expose just for that. Um, and from the OP, if you read the OP uh, in the XDA thread, uh, it does state uh, that this ROM is um, um, exposed ready. So I'm guessing uh, the, the uh, kernel is permissive. Uh, we'll take a look at that. Uh, that was one thing I did not look at. Uh, then we have our recent settings. Uh, you have your immersive, your immersive recents. You can have your full screen, standard, or nav bar only. Uh, or just run default. You know me, I like my full screen. Uh, then you can have your search bar, memory bar, clear all, you know, clear all tasks. And of course, uh, you can set it where you want it. Uh, OmniSwitch and Slim Recents are there if you so choose to use it. Uh, they do include a battery bar. Here is where you would set that up at. Uh, gesture Anywhere, if you guys use that, here it is. And you have your app circle bar. Uh, for those of you that don't know, it's a, pretty, a really cool app uh, or feature. You just turn it on, uh, include what apps you want to include in it. Uh, set up your trigger width, your placement, touch it. And you get this little scrolling wheel that has just the apps on it that you have set up. It's just a quick quick way to reach your favorite apps. Yep, I just hit that. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, then you have Pi Control. Uh, if you guys want to use that, it is there. It does work. I was playing with it. Um, I will turn it on. I think the default is on the left. Yes, there it is. That is your Pi. And last but not least is uh, your LCD density. Uh, it is set at 560, which is default. That is where I like it. I'm not going to set it any larger than that. Next up is your system settings. Uh, you're going to have your power menu. A lot of things to choose from. You guys know me. I love this. This is, this is a good feature. And your battery light, you can set that up. Set that up, uh, you know how you want it. Notifications has everything there. Heads up, the whole nine yards. And of course, under notifications at the bottom there, this is where you would set up your notification lights. Uh, of course, I didn't set that one up. All right, there we go. Now it's set up right. Then you have sound and volume. These are all your volume control sounds or settings. Uh, down at the bottom, you have your safe headset volume. You can shut that off if you want. That is one feature I like. <laughs> Lock screen settings. You have your bottom shortcuts. Um, I don't know if there are center sh shortcuts or not. Let me look here. Yes, you can add center shortcuts. Cool. Uh, those are your bottom, of course. You can change those around. Lock screen torch if you want it. Uh, lock screen bouncer. And, of course, your wallpapers. You can set that up, and it has the blur effect. And on the bottom, of course, are your weather options. Uh, then under IME options, of course, that's all keyboard effects. This is what you have. Last but not least is miscellaneous. Here's where your multi-window feature is at. Toast icons and then your, um, your widget. You can set that up. Um, I highly recommend you at least set up the weather panel. So you can have your uh, temperature, if you, if you want your temperature to show in your status bar, you have to have this turned on. That's it, guys. Uh, that is Scrooge's latest. Uh, I will check the kernel real quick. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's permissive. Uh, it's enforcing. I wonder how it... Uh, 
wonder how it would work. Um, exposed has to have a a, uh, um, a permissive kernel. I'll have to look into that. Um, there's probably somewhere on here I'm missing uh, a, where, a way where you can actually switch that over to permissive. And I, I'm probably just missing it. Um, when I find it, I will post it um, in the description, or I'll just, uh, you know, I'll just post somewhere underneath the uh, video so you guys can see it. Uh, for you, you know, for those of you that run exposed, uh, also SuperSU does come with the ROM pre-installed, um, and it is version uh, two seven one. And that is it, guys. That is Scrooge's latest. Uh, this is the April 9th build. Um, it is completely solid. I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. Again, guys, this is really turning into one of my favorite ROMs of all. Uh, I really do like it. Uh, no, it doesn't have as many, uh, you know, custom options as, say, Resurrection Remix or, uh, you, know, re you know, some of the other ROMs out there. Uh, there's just something about it I like. Um... And, you know, it is what it is. So, uh, is it my absolute favorite? You know, no. You guys know me. I've got five, you know, four or five ROMs. I always run uh, as my absolute favorite. But I do highly, highly recommend this ROM. Uh, if you like Signage Mod Steam Engine, uh, but you still like AOSP-based ROMs, this is a nice ROM to try out. Well, guys, uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I want to thank all of my subscribers, uh, and I will see you all on the next one.